Are you ready to purchase a property, but you're unsure if you should sell your current property first? You're not alone. I'm Megan Denny, a realtor in the very competitive market of Toronto, Ontario, Canada, and I'm here to guide you with a very recent client story that explains why buying first may not be the best option for you right now. In March of this year, 2022, I was instructed by one of my buyer clients to make an offer on a home in Vaughan that was for $300,000 less than what the most recent comparable sold for on the same street just a couple weeks prior. Yes, I thought my clients were completely out to lunch on this offer and I politely told them so, but we wanted to go for it anyway, so we did. Their offer was one of four. It was not accepted. The sellers actually took a higher priced offer with a financing condition. I'd like to note that even seeing a financing condition was the first sign of the times. That conditional offer actually fell through and the house went back on market. And it sat and it sat. And then a price drop happened. And then the sellers got a new agent and listed it for even lower and it continued to sit on MLS. So fast forward from March until May, and this property was still available for sale. Come to find out that the sellers had already bought a new property at the peak season of the market and were extremely stressed. They accepted another financial conditional offer and that also fell through. My buyer clients came back to the table with the exact same offer that they gave in March and it was accepted. Yay for my buyer clients, not so lucky on the seller side. It is no surprise or secret that it has been a seller's market for quite some time. Sellers have been super spoiled with not only sale prices, but how quickly their property would sell for. However, when we're dealing with a transitioning market, rising mortgage rates and several mortgage bumps, it kind of takes some buyers out, it makes them sort of change their mentality, and it actually changes what they qualify for. During the pandemic, really the prices in Toronto and GTA all over Ontario, really, it just skyrocketed. Everyone was reevaluating what they wanted in their current home, what they needed in their current home. Everyone was working from home and kids were actually being schooled virtually. And we also can't forget that mortgage rates dropped so low that they were basically giving away mortgages for free. It created a selling and buying frenzy and brought out everyone and their mothers to purchase a property or even become an investor and buy multiple properties. So yes, in this kind of climate or in that kind of climate, I should say, then you should definitely buy first. It's the wild, wild west and chances are that your home would actually sell for top dollar and very, very fast. But as I mentioned, now we're in this transitioning market and you should really be considering selling first, guys. I wouldn't actually be surprised if we start to even see conditional offers on the sale of one's property first. So my guidance here and now is that you know your market and you trust your real estate expert. All right, so when is the best time to sell your home? Well, click on my next video. You're gonna find out more and you're gonna get some really good insights, I promise. So my name is Megan Denny. Call me for your Toronto and GTA real estate needs, guys. Thanks.